What do YouTube? It's your boy Rising E here, and today I'm back here with another video. All right, guys, I'm back here. I'm gonna talk about what happened earlier today. All right, so I wake up, you know, do my usual routine, brush my teeth, wash my face, boom, 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 boom. Then I go to an interview. You feel me? Even though the interviewer dude is talking about we getting paid seven twenty five. You feel me? Like. And like that's that's beyond minimum wage, but that was for the gym. So I'm like a free membership and I get commissions for it. So I was like, alright, that's not that bad. But later that day when I go to my first job, which is at this place, you know, the first thing I do when I arrive there is see my manager. And what she do? She said, This is gonna be a rough day for us and I was like, Okay. And I just kept walking. And then I heard her say something, something real smart. He said, I like when people look me in your eyes type of shit. I'm like, huh? I'm like, huh? I'm like, you my manager, but doesn't mean I, I'm going to look you in your eyes every time you talk. Like, especially if you saying dumb shit every 24-7. Peep that, like, she really be saying dumb stuff. And she be trying to get me in my feelings about stuff, like, trying to get me mad and shit. Like, nah, you can't do that with me. I'm unfazed, my my G. You can't steal my energy. But, yeah, she was like, let me look look in my eyes when I speak to you. I was like, bro, what? Does that not sit, sound like a slave master to you or some shit? You're my manager. You get paid $2 extra than me. And I don't even care about money. I don't. I really don't care about money. Money just helps me buy my needs. That's really about it. I don't really need all that that luxury shit that other niggas be needing. All that jewelry and shit. I don't need that. Because at the end of the day, like, they still emotional as fuck. Got mental disor <laughs> disorders and shit like that. Mental disorders. <laughs> They be they they don't even be feeling happy within self. Like how how can you have all this money and still be feeling upset, depressed and shit like that, stressed out? It just don't make sense to me. But like go back to the topic. Like she was like, look me in your eyes. I I let that slide because you know you know I mean like I'm 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 a, I'm a calm dude so I'm gonna let it slide. So I clock in or whatever whatever do my job. And this is this is fast food. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is fast food, you know, cause like I don't take it seriously. It's my free salad of the day. I, I don't care. It's just something for me to start up with since I moved out here. But like, yeah, go inside, you know, clock in. Not even a whole hour, my G. Not even a whole hour, my G. I like it was just a mean ass rush, right? So I'm over here cooking up the food, doing this and that, making sure that they can keep their time low. You know how in fast food, you got to make sure your time is low, some dumb shit like that. So I'm not organizing the food. I'm just chilling and just making the food. You feel me? But I think when she saw me get up and go over there to the, the whatever that drink is, the um, drink machine or whatever, give me some water. And I was in the cut drinking water and on my phone for a little bit while waiting for the food to cook. Because you can't just sit there, you feel me, and just let the food cook. I think that's when she caught her attitude. So when when she saw that, she was like, go sweep up the flow. I was like, I mean, I'm waiting for the, the food to pop up. Because, like, some real shit, though, like, people was ordering a lot of food, bro. A lot of burgers, bro. No bullshit, bro. Dude... One order was fucking seven triples, bro. Seven triples. Seven triples. Like, what? Like, it, it gotta be a dare or some shit, Lord. Because, like, there's no way you, you gonna have all of them fucking burgers. Like, you know how fucking congested you gonna be with all that fucking grease? And I, you don't even know where the meat is coming from. And that's what I be talking about. But, like, back to that shit, though, like, you know, it's just a mean-ass rush, it's lunchtime or whatever, whatever. Talking about clean the flow. I was like, all right, I got you. After after my ass fucking put the, um, finished cooking the food, 
Because the other dude got to make the sandwiches, you feel me? You got to make the sandwiches. Like, I can't just let him just have no meat there. Like, there's no point. Well, why would I do that and put him in trouble? So I was using my logic. I was like, all right, I got you right after this. She was like, right now. I was like, huh? I was like, I got you right after this. Because, you know, you know, I use common sense instead of um, fucking pettiness and using emotions. So I was like, all right. I got you right after. No, she's like, I mean, right now. And then I was like, I said the same thing. I was like, I'm going to wait until the food is done. And then her ass like, um, shoot, you could clock out if you want to. <laughs> you want to know, you want to know what I said, bro? I said, are you sure? She's like, yeah, you could clock out. I was like, I right, bet I'm out of here. I was already thinking about leaving. So, like, what? I was about to leave in under a week. So, you giving me a free vacation day. And something I used to go to the gym, buy me some new jewelry, and, yeah, and just relax until my other job. So, like, at the end of the day, you wasted your time. That's that's the point that got me. It's like, you, you use your emotions in the workforce for workforce and you're a leader you can't do that that's the theme of this you can't you can't be a leader and if you can't put your emotions to your to the side you got to be literally dull or you got to show that you care that's the only emotion that you should show not no pettiness not no attitude or nothing like that nothing nah not a thing but, like, the same time, that shows you that people just get promoted just because they be there for a long period of time. And that's not how it's supposed to be. It should be there for people that actually that build up the culture, that always inspire other people to do work and stuff like that. I respect managers that actually show that, show good leadership and this and that, and actually willing to help. Because she's lazy as fuck, wouldn't be keeping 100. But I ain't say nothing about that. And then when I clocked in, she, I knew she was on a smoke break. So, you know what she was doing? She was on hitting that gas. So, I'm like, bro, that gas did not get you that emotional, bro. That's that's another thing, too. Don't smoke gas when that gets you emotional. Because it makes no sense. But, like, yeah, man. That shit, that shit was funny, bro. It was like, bro, you really... You really had the nerve to say clock out knowing damn where I wanted to go from the jump. Cause I got there a little bit late and you know and you know how a nigga get you know how a nigga get when he he don't really want to feel like going in there, right? He just sits there in the car or whatever and just relax for a tad bit. Until he goes in and I'd be like several minutes before, you know my nigga shit. You feel me? I'm not gonna lie. I don't really care about jobs. That shows I don't care about money. I'm not going to sit here and be a tryhard for some for some company that's run by the white man. That's run by the white man that don't give a shit about you. The elites. They literally sit there on their ass and watch you slave for them. This is why I do not like capitalism. This is why I don't like government. Because it doesn't make sense. Just because you've been doing this for a long period of time doesn't mean you stop working and and pay people less. You feel me? But, like, at the same time, though, that shit was funny. Like, she was like, it was your... And then the, and a, and a, and a smart remark she said to me, though, was like, oh, it's your pay. And I was like, okay, I got another job. And then I said, I don't respect you. <laughs> and, and I just walked out. I ain't had to say nothing else. I would have said, if I said more, I would have really blazed her in front of everybody that was inside of that shit. I would have, I would have came for her soul when everybody's inside, and she would not handle that. She would have probably tried to fight me. But like, yeah, that's just, that's just my life. There's always somebody hating on me. I'm gonna make a video about that too. But yeah, it's always somebody got some weird grudge against me. I don't even know why. I just be chilling and doing my job. It, even though employee, my fellow coworkers be saying I do work. You feel me? I do my job well. 
I learn everything quick. Any job I have, I learn quick. That's why I said I'm not worth me slaving or nothing. I'm worth a, to be a owner. Because if I was an owner, I would actually show my employees respect and I would actually give them a nice pay. That would actually satisfy them for for like a good minute. You feel me? They won't have to live check by check. If you do, if you do your job, I will pay you well. But nah, it just shows that I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that out. But yeah, yeah, that's rising here.